DLCs are a great part of the gaming nowadays, especially when every game you see featuring a DLC. Sometimes they're bad, sometimes they're good, but in this genre of RPGs it is always something that is great. So every year Elder Scrolls Online expanding its world with new and new major content. Today's year, oh my god. The 7th extension Necrom is amazing. It transports players to the Eastern Morrowind and believe me, the new two areas of the wells are the additional content and it's great. Building upon the existing MMO universe, Necron introduces the new character class known as Arcanist, accompanied by new companions. Players can expect around 30 hours of fresh story content, various multiplayer editions with a lot of great things. So what do I think about it? I think it is great. Like I said in the beginning, believe me, this is one of the best DLCs Elder Scrolls Online has so far. The journey of Necrom begins as the protagonist becomes an entitled to the Dedric Prince Hermus Mora, the Prince of the Secrets, an encounter with rules around a mysterious threat that poses the potential danger of the Oblivion and Nern. Those familiar with the Dedric Prince's, they will understand the revelation and come easily, leading to including twists around the main plot and twist. The Elder Scrolls franchise has always prioritized storytelling and lore, and Necrom's narrative does not disappoint, in fact. It is actually stand out and one of the satisfying stories you can experience in Elder Scrolls Online. To avoid spoilers, we wouldn't give you any specific things, but believe me, hmm, I'm really suffering for not telling you why it is great and what are the highlights. Okay, anyway, let's move to something more cool here. Among the various additions in Necrom, it's a tradition of the Arcanist class stands out as the most intriguing. True, to the tradition, Artagonist process with the skills that allow players to mold their characters into healers, tanks, or heavy DPS dealers. With the sets of Arcanist apart in its unique resources mechanic called the Crux system, essentially certain players generate the Crux, which they can actually spend on the other spells. The Arcanist versatility makes it a delightful class to play, as their porn area with the part of effect spells prove with an effect of the boss, solo, and group play. Whether unleashing the devastating damage or providing healing, shielding to companions, the Arcanist wields really formidable power. The design channels of emphasizing green of spell effects adds an interesting visual touch to harmonizing well with the class. The companion system introduced a couple of years ago allows players to recruit NPCs companies, and believe me, all of them will be really useful in single player Elder Scrolls games. Necrom introduces two new companions, Regard, Arcanisis Alsander, Alciabidis, and Arganian Warder Sharp Eyes Knight. These companions can be enthusiastic and they can literally come in into your fight into respective quests, which generally takes about 20-30 minutes in the game. Asander hires in Apropria, while the sharpest white awaits you in Telmanian Pensila. Beyond the aid in the battles, these characters contribute to the game's depth by bringing their own unique backstories and motivation for joining the player with the Eterian benefits along to make them valuable records. Developing their own stories and getting to know the characters adds the funeral value to the experience. These new areas introducing you to the Necrom breathtaking sights to behold. The Tolwain produces all of the craziest things all around. The DLC capture that you will love. This environment's wonder, exclusive and certain parts of Marwine can help but inspire vivid imagination. It's hard not to envision the Dover King clad Mario jumping across towering mushroom structures in the background. A Corpia architecture applying literally with its name. As books from the buildings, you literally see something great. Unlike generic fantasy settings found in some of the older Elder Scrolls games, the new location will literally in new Xchrome be exclusive visual design. The chase of the desired exploration immersing the players to fantastic environment. In addition of the new areas, Necrom offers 12 portal player known as Sanctity's Edge, set inside the mage wine where the real twist into nightmare. Yes, it sounds quite of twisted, but believe me, for those who prefer smaller groups, these are something that is really gonna be fun and one of the most closely guarded the Daedalic secrets. You will love this game mod. By now, Elder Scrolls and I prayers have come to expect the new chapter each June. So basically, this June was really successful. Each installment players anticipate a submission amount of this fresh story content. And this one is great. The Arcanist class is versatile in chasing, in addition offering the players to embody tanks DPC like I said in the review. 
Believe me, this is something that you will not want to miss if you're the fan of the Elder Scrolls Online. One of the best reviews you can find on the channel is ours. Yes, we're doing the best content on this kind of RPG game. So subscribe to us if you don't want to miss anything from the world of gaming on PC, Steam, Epic Game Store, well, sometimes even PlayStation and Xbox. See you guys in the next video. Oh yeah, if you would want to hear what rank I would give from 1 to 5, I think it's a solid 5 for DLC of such caliber. Thank you so much for watching the video. Bye bye.